This is basically a full face of Make Beauty products. However, I'm dividing it into two parts. This first part is going to be the complexion products. I have the Skin Tint Very Dewy, the concealer, super radiant, lightweight, and I have the powder. Definitely stay tuned this week for part two where I'm going to start applying all the color products, the liner, the blush, the lip. For this video though, let's talk complexion. For context, my skin is very oily and acne prone and I do live in a tropical weather, meaning it's very humid, hot, I sweat a lot. So things tend to look a little bit dewier on this kind of weather and on my skin type than you would normally be. Keep that in mind while you're watching this video. Give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. And yeah, so let's jump right into it. Look at how they come. Super protected. So for the foundation, we're going to start with this skin tint. I'm actively breaking out, which kind of sucks for a complexion review, right? It's a skin tint. I don't really expect it to cover up a bunch of acne. This is glass. ASMR. So I have three colors with me right now. So we're going to see which one suits me the most. I'm thinking it's probably going to be 1.5 rather than 1. It seems a little bit too light and then this one looks a little bit too tan for me. Shade 1 is Fair 01 and it's described for fair cool undertones. So I definitely think it's going to be too light on me. That's 1. Light 1. 1.5 is for, for light with neutral undertones. It is very, very thin. Yeah, that's probably gonna be my shade. So that is the second one. It's kind of already blending into my skin. And then Natural O2 is for light to medium complexions with neutral undertones. All right, so let's start with 1.5. I have two pumps here, very runny, but I also find it very peachy. I seem to have that problem sometimes. What I usually do is I just dab it into my face and then blend it out. These are very sheer, as you can tell. This shade could definitely suit a variety of different skin tones. All right, so I definitely look really wet and radiant. Um, we do have the powder, so probably the combination of those two are gonna make it look a lot more natural and less wet. Um, is it evening on my skin tone? Obviously, those two massive acne scars are not getting covered. Where if you cover this, I do feel like there's a lot of evenness on the skin. It is extremely dewy, so it definitely needs setting. So far, this is um, how it looks. It's very radiant. Like I said, it is a luminous, dewy skin tint. Skincare benefits and a tinted skin tint is what you're going to get with this. So let's move on now to the concealer. Not a first impression on the concealer because I actually used it. The packaging is absolutely stunning. NARS doesn't give you, <laughs> NARS doesn't give you this. I have heard so many amazing things about this concealer that I just wanted to share my opinion with you guys. It is so lightweight. I I'm going to show you. First, let's talk about the shade descriptions. I have O2 with me. This is O2 Fair N for fair light skin tones with neutral undertones. I'm going to swatch it in the back of my hand. O3 Light C is for light complexion with neutral undertones. For some reason, that one looks lighter. And then we have O4 Light W, which is light with warm undertones. I have to say, I think I'm going to go with O3. So bizarre because I've been using O2 and I have been finding it a little bit too dark for me. So I'm just going to go with O3 for this video and let's hope for the best, right? I'm going to apply it right here. Yeah, I think this is way better. I'm going to use a concealer brush because it's what I've been using. It's definitely um, a lot on the sheer side. It's not the most high coverage concealer out there. A very radiant finish. It's kind of watery to be honest, but it just looks so gorgeous. Like it's such a beautiful concealer. It kind of looks like my natural skin. Like I don't see it super high coverage. They do claim it's buildable. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add just a tiny, tiny, tiny bit I'm going to add it in the back of my hand. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab just a little bit right here in the back of my hand. And I'm going to add it in this corner. 
I feel like I don't want to add too much because the more you add, the more likely it is to crease. And I definitely want to give it a fair shot. In terms of correcting the acne marks, I'd rather just do that with my normal spot concealer after I powder because it is a matte consistency and this is very, very dewy. And I'm just ready to powder. I have here Translucent Fair. I think the packaging is so pretty. It has the mixed metals. It has, has gold and silver. A plus for packaging. So, so nice. And honestly, the prices aren't really that bad. This is $28 for a concealer. I'm pretty sure the NARS one is like $30. So it's actually cheaper and it's good quality. This brush feels weighted. Oh, yeah. I really like this. Very, very nice. I usually really like to use a powder puff to set the makeup because it looks so flawless. But this is probably so good for like all over the face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit of this on this side and then I'm going to try and use the powder puff on the other side. It's definitely setting the skin tint. I still see a lot of radiance left. It is claiming to set and absorb oils very, very well while keeping everything looking pretty natural. They do say it's refillable and it really is. But you just pop it in. This is probably the powder that I'm just going to keep in my bag at all times. It's magnetic. So I hope you can see somewhat of the difference. This is like very, very glowy. And then this one is still very radiant, but set. Now I'm going to grab my powder puff and I'm just going to... Oh, is that a lot? <laughs> that might have been a lot. Let's see. Yes, it is definitely a more blurred and mattified effect. You could definitely see that my smile line on this side is pretty much completely gone. If you were wondering what the difference of a powder puff and a brush do, this is basically the best example I can give you. The powder puff is going to deposit a lot more color, while the brush is just going to be very light with it and it's going to give you more of a natural result. For this side area though, I do like to look more snatched there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a little bit on the powder puff and just go at it there just to get those pores in check. You see what I mean? And on the rest of the face, I think we're good with just the powder. So honestly, the powder is really good. I mean, it looks natural. It's pressed. If you prefer a pressed powder, this one's definitely great. And I hope you get to see the radiance versus the mattified effect. You can definitely achieve both with this powder. Like every other product, it has a lot of skincare benefits in there. So thumbs up for me. Thumbs up. So these are all the complexion products. What do you think of these complexion products? I'm going to finish doing the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back with some final thoughts. So I just applied all this makeup. <laughs> I have to say I'm really impressed with this brand, so stay tuned for part two. The packaging is really, really good on the skin tint, very quality, but I have to say my top product from all the products that I have here is the concealer. It's so good. Like, I really do enjoy the lightweight, watery texture of it. The packaging is also heavy and very, very luxurious. The applicator has like a hole in the middle that I guess holds more product. I think that I'm just going to keep using this concealer and just giving you more thoughts throughout different videos, but for now, this is my favorite product out of all of them. The powder is definitely coming with me on my bag. I'm going to use a little bit now because I was doing the other video, so I do need a little bit more. I think that's good. And I really do like the brush. It's very luxurious. It feels great. The skin tint is good. However, it does have shimmer, glitter particles in it. The packaging is great. It's quality. I do like to look less dewy and hydrated just because of my skin tone and the weather here just provides me with that. Perhaps if you're drier or live in a more drier climate, this probably is a godsend to you during winter times especially. But yes, I mean, it's a solid quality brand and I can't wait for you to see my next video where I talk to you about the color products. So if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out and I'll see you in the next one.